learn about uh, some is implicit so what is exactly is implicit cursor uh, whenever we <coughs> execute some SQL statement or DML statement, Oracle preserves uh, an SQL, uh, SQL area in the memory for this, uh, this type of this cursor operation. Okay, So <coughs> this type of cursor is actually known as SQL. And today I will show you some attributes, uh, a few attributes of this used by this cursor. Okay, <coughs> And then I will just uh, write a small PL SQL block and show how to use these cursors. So these are the attributes which I am going to use today. The first one is SQL person is open. Oracle engine automatically opens the cursor. If cursor opens, if the cursor is open, return true, other, otherwise return false. Suppose you, I execute uh, some update statement, okay. <coughs> so, Attributes like uh, person found, person not found, person crew count this always return some value. But what happens so to SQL person is open? This always remain closed. I mean, this always returns false. So why it's, uh, why such? Because what happens whenever we execute some DML statement like select or update statement? As soon as the uh, DML statement is, is is executed, then <coughs> the SQL person is open, return false. In the time of execution, in that fraction of moment, maybe the SQL person is open, return true. But after that, in the, within the time of execution, you cannot check in the, this attribute. Okay, you will obviously check after that. But after that, when you check with this SQL person is open, you know, it's always return false. The next one is SQL person found. Now, you. Uh, set some insert statement, update statement or delete statement. I'm not talking about insert statement right now. I'll, I'll just tell you about update and delete statement. Okay, so what happens in case of update and delete statement? What is exactly happened? There always implicitly there is a, a, a select statement is fired because we are using some where clause. Okay. Maybe we are not using some where clause, but it is actually exactly fetching some rows. Okay, which needs to be updated or which needs to be deleted. Okay, so if you write delete from table name, so it fetches all the rows of the table. You set some column value for all the rows of a table, it fetches all the rows. You put a wire, wire condition, where this equal to this, then it fetches that, to, um, based on that clause, it's a, uh, execute a select statement to fetch the, all the rows. So now what happens in update, in update statement, this type of select statement, okay, it returns, obviously returns some rows, row or rows, one or one, one, one or more rows. So if it does not return, fetch any rows, then SQL person found is returns false. And if it find any, at least one row, SQL person found return true. So in the same way is uh, just the uh, opposite in case of SQL person not found. It's the, you can say it's a uh, complementary of uh, person found. Okay, if uh, rows are found, then it returns false. If rows do, it does not fetch any rows, then it returns true. And on the last one, uh, if SQL person found returns true, obviously there uh, some rows are fetched, and SQL person row count gives the number of rows fetched when you are executing update in delete or this type of statement. And in case of insert, what happens? It always returns SQL person found because insert statement, if it is successfully executed, it all, um, always adds some rows. Okay. And that number of rows are written with SQL person row count and SQL person found is always written true. So this is a small explanation. Now I'll just write a small PL SQL block and with DBMS output, I'll show you how this uh, <coughs> the attributes return value with I'll just use a uh, update and uh, update statement and show you the, uh, an example. As you can see, I'm here using a table called employee underscore salary, and here is a field column name called snake pay. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to 
check some values say select uh, net pay from employee salary that net pay less than 500 okay so it fetches this row so uh, based on this one we will just add the PLS key block so I am opening the editor default editor is not right and starting with our code uh, declare or oh, I don't need declare begin and update net pay uh, sorry huh. update employee salary set net pay equal to zero where net pay is less than 1000 so this is the output statement and if SQL percent found then dbms output dot put line record found okay and if you want to print I can print this found okay and if the same way copy this and just saving some time make it not found record not found not found again the third one uh, last one is not found total record processed zero count just making it a little bit simpler readable so I'm with the uh, done with this and we'll just do one thing set server output on okay let's make some uh, correction and we'll be right back there's some syntax error with the uh, semicolons okay then uh, there is uh, uh, some small I've made and will make some small changes first one is a uh, uh, I'm not able to print right now SQL person found and SQL person not found because it's returning the boolean value false and true so I just make the conditional checking and print the uh, text here as SQL person found uh, then record found for processing SQL person not found record no no record found for processing and SQL person row count this will be greater than zero okay so this is not a boolean return boolean value it returns integer and if row count is greater than zero number of record processed is called person row count this will obviously print because this, uh, this returns number so this is my uh, program and now I'll execute this before executing I'll do something okay say select count star I'll check the, whether this row count is returning the exact value employee salary where net pay less than 1000 <coughs> 37268 now I go here and it's taking some time yeah so record found for processing record found number of records processed 37268 okay yeah so I find counts that equals to 37268 
and row count returns 3726. Now, if I execute the procedure again, what will happen? It is returning the same. Okay, so this is because uh, it is within the block. Okay, it's coming out of the block until you uh, place commit. So it will just return the same thing again and again. So what will happen if I just let me copy this first? And copy this. Okay. And paste it. Okay. So until you put commit in the block, it will not work. Okay. So so. I'm not worried about that. So I just uh, want to show you what ex exactly the record number of record process is coming. So now let us just do one more thing. We copy this <coughs> and just create some ex abstract statement. Update net pay equal to zero where net pay less than zero. What will this result in? No records found for processing. Okay. So this I am I want to show you. See, row count is returning zero. So that statement is not printing. And SQL person found is also returning false. That is not printing. So SQL person not found is returning true. So in that case, no record found for processing. So this is uh, some uh, this four uh, we have just shown you four attributes in, <coughs> in Oracle PL SQL implicit cursor and uh, this uh, four attributes are shown in this uh, within this PL SQL block. The first one is open is uh, not exactly do any specific task. It's always return false. Uh, though it is uh, has a huge impact uh, when you are using explicit cursor and other than that uh, the the three more uh, attributes like uh, SQL person found, SQL person not found and SQL person row count has a huge impact uh, when you are using update insert or delete statement okay so i can also show you by deleting records but uh, right now uh, it's not necessary but still uh, i'm just trying <coughs> with the same update statement instead of updating i'm just going with the delete statement okay so let's move back to the sql prompt and instead of update i will write delete Employee salary is safe and remove this say and by net pay less than zero. Obviously it will return not found, no record found. And now I'll just make it 500. So the same number of results come out 37268. Okay. So how many times no records found? So in this case, you can see uh, it's actually worked in case of delete. So let us check why it is not working in case of update. Update employee salary set. Net pay equal to zero when it pay less than. Okay, let's copy this and go back. <coughs> and after a rollback, we will just again execute the statement and I just want to find out why it is not working right then.
okay uh, so we can we are not concerned about this right now so i'm just uh, maybe commit will writing a commit will do the process now that i cannot just explain the difference it is out of the scope of this tutorial that uh, what is the difference between actually the delete statement and absent statement where delete statement is actually uh, it's working and here the update statement is up so rollback will just undo everything whether it is delete or update but still number of records processed is uh, remaining the same but still uh, i just uh, need to show you what actually implicit cursor does okay so these are the four cursors uh, four attributes of the implicit cursor sql so thank you very much if you like the video please like press the like button and if you don't like the video please press the dislike button and do comment on my video okay if you have any queries and subscribe to my channel that is sqhro19076 thank you very much